Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Not sure exactly what day this is, but uh, we were continuing our self vlogging practice, talking to the camera practice, and wow, what a weekend. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff these past few days. I think I went over to Ellen's on Friday. We went to go see Mimi's. <clears throat> we went to go see Mimi's um, film. She uh, she had this role where she's the daughter of, I guess, uh, this founder of this company who had like a lot of money. And uh, yeah, it was like a really interesting film. Like maybe like halfway through, it turns black and white, and it becomes like a murder mystery. Uh, everybody gathers at this house. Uh, it was really interesting. But before that, actually, we came around like seven o'clock, and found that um, the film didn't start till like nine thirty. So we we're like, oh, like what are we gonna do with all this time? So we ended up walking to Jenny's because uh, Ellen had this. A five dollar coupon or discount whatever and um yeah we ended up going there and had like a a really good time um just trying ice cream i got an affogato with vanilla bean i think uh ellen got fluffernutter and jelly donut and yeah um uh, ice cream was great we walked back it was like a few blocks out so it, i mean it took us like 20 minutes to get there and then we spent maybe like 20 minutes there and then 20 minutes back. So like a good hour passed. And then, yeah, we waited. There was a lot of snacks. Um, for an amateur level production, I was really impressed with what I saw. Like I was completely engaged the whole time within the story. I never felt taken out of it by anybody's performance. Um, yeah, it was, it was a cohesive project. And um, he was saying like, you know, you don't have to go to New York or Atlanta or LA to, to get like, like a film community going. And um, he was saying like, look at all around you, there's so many creatives here. And I was actually like really inspired by that. And I definitely want to work on my own short film or like pilot or, you know, I want to write, direct, produce um, as well as act. And so which is what the guy did um, for his short film. So yeah, I'm like, if he can do it, I can do it. I mean, he came out of film school from GMU, but I mean, he said he learned the most from like being a PA on different people's sets. So I think that's the next step in my evolution is uh, doing more PA work and um, understanding more filmmaking. Of course, like working on my craft as acting too, but when I'm not acting, I wanna be when I'm not in front of the camera, I wanna be behind the camera. If I'm not behind the camera, I wanna be around the camera. I just need to understand like what it takes in order to create something, um, you know, like a, a, a story through this visual medium, um, audio visual medium, and uh, what it takes to, to really do that. And so, yeah, super excited. Um, I ended up going back to Ellen's afterwards and what did we do Saturday? Saturday, we woke up. Um, we woke up late. We didn't. We weren't sure what to do. Um, we wanted to go to the library, but then it was so nice outside. We we're like, we got to do something outside. So we ended up um, going to Costco, buying a bunch of um, stuff to grill, and we ended up grilling outside. And um, we had steak and asparagus and onions and. And uh, we grilled the cantaloupe that I brought over. And yeah, we just had um, like a really nice time cooking together and eating with, uh, with Esther, uh, Ellen's sister. And we finished watching uh, The Woman King, uh, which, which has Viola Davis and she's incredible in it. Uh, yeah, and then Today, we woke up and um, Ellen's friend Shane was coming over <clears throat> uh, to fix uh, the drywall in her roof or like the leak in her roof. And um, yeah, um, that was fun too. We, we were able to, to just um, work on fixing her, her roof. 
I was kind of hands off with it and like, well, yeah, because it's really not like, um, I don't have much knowledge or experience with, um, I guess, the house maintenance or house repair or like uh, being a handyman, but like watching Shane and Ellen work today, I was really inspired to, uh, yeah, start investing some time and like uh, researching more uh, into what it takes to maintain and repair a house because uh, I think there's a lot of money to be saved there and I think it's a good investment and it makes you feel like a man. Not that that's like my whole thing, but like, I wanna be competent. I want to be somebody that people can rely on. And uh, I think my dad definitely had that. Um, he, he, he had like an air of competence when it came to um, doing stuff with your hands. And um, as I'm growing older, I'm, I'm appreciating that more and more. And uh, I am my father's son. And so like, you know, I was always around it, but you know, I never took interest in it. But now I'm realizing like what a valuable skill it is. And yeah, so after I helped uh, Shane and Ellen, they, they continued, but I, I went to go play basketball and I was torn between whether to go um, play in this Filipino league or play like pickup with um, some Korean guys that I'm also gonna start a league with. I ended up playing pickup with um, these Korean guys and low-key I regretted not um, playing in the league game because I don't know, there's only four teams in the league and we played the same team like five times and I don't know, it just gets repetitive. I mean, I think both, I, I could have, I would have regretted either way because I had been putting off playing with these Korean guys for a few weeks as well. And I didn't really explain why. And so, um, while I initially regretted uh, not playing in my league game, I actually had a lot of fun and um, got to see like uh, the results of all the work that I've been putting in uh, in the gym when I play pickup with these Korean guys. And, you know, I was cooking, I was boxing out this like, this man like six six like tall black kid like he doesn't play basketball but the fact that i was able to box him out and get rebounds like on him and score on him um felt really good uh, i think i won like me and my team won like three games in a row <clears throat> um andrew was telling me to take up like a point guard position and so i was facilitating the ball and scoring and um and hustling on defense and i felt really good playing basketball today and so yeah, like um, uh, the signs are pointing towards that I'm doing the right things, I think. Um, I also have a short film coming up Friday, Saturday um, uh, with some students at American University. And we're gonna do basically like a horror movie with like um, drug PSA themes. Um, reading the script, it's actually like well thought out. And um, although like I'm not, entirely a fan of the genre like I'm excited to do this project because like I'll be learning more about my craft um, I'll be seeing more like every time you're on set it's different um, you learn something new you meet new people and you gain new experience and so I'm just trying to build up my craft and my you know my uh, knowledge and know-how about the filmmaking process as much as possible so super excited to collaborate with these guys and um, also, I have a sh um, an audition coming up for uh, this guy, Isaac, his short film, uh, where um, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, the characters are, um, the two characters that I uh, wanted to audition for, um, they're both like maybe like wealthy or well off. And I think the, the main character, he sees that and he wants to be like them maybe, but one's a douche and one's like cool. And so he was like, you can play either like the douche or the cool guy. And so I want to play the cool guy, I think, because um, within with the 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 horror movie drug PSA um, type uh, short film that I'm doing with American University is uh, I play this instigator, this um, come on, let's do these drugs, and then um, so like it'd be cool to play like um, like a different note or like a different like you know uh, type of character, I think, and I, I think I would. Um, like stretch myself as an actor and um i'm really trying to stop saying um but it just comes out so that's another thing i want to work on in the coming weeks uh really uh 
I really want to develop a more articulate way of speaking. Uh, just in my daily life, I think it would make me a better communicator, um, help me understand my own thoughts more, me just be more articulate in my thoughts, and yeah, uh, just be better as a person, as a communicator, as a leader, as a brother, as a as a nephew, as a as a boyfriend, as a uh, friend, as a you know, as somebody who's part of this community and who wants to like make cool shit you know, and put projects out there. And I think, I know that the filmmaking process requires a lot of communication skills. And that's, I think, what the main takeaway from Mimi's film was that this man was so good at communicating, he was able to rally all these people and create this cool project. And yeah, I think that's the next step in my evolution. All right, that's all I got.